welcome to next season of design portfolio reviews where we look at your work what you have been working on design brief i joined experto as ui ux design intern congratulations expo i'm the only designer damn being us only designer and trying to build out an mvp it's quite challenging not going to lie so what is the problem statement in general? So it's about networking with mentors and other entrepreneurs. They are failing in their startup due to the lack of mentorship. Okay, questionable, but sure. Another way to say that is it can help people with their stuff. To address this issue, Expert created a platform where you can connect and receive mentorship as a business owner. You have some facts from secondary research. This is a nice section. All right, let's look at that. Oh, then you did primary research. Let's look at that then. What I really appreciate is using bold and bullet points use a lot of headlines break down your case study into structure whether you're creating a presentation or whether you're creating writing a case study break it down now we see questions asked 40 people responded with survey as well so you were able to validate your research so cool what did we do about it now oh we directly jumped to an app so this is this is one of the most fascinating things for me you're trying to do digital product design so your case study will, will naturally flow towards you know an app which i'm assuming is gonna happen here or a website I'm not saying it's wrong to present an app. I mean, oftentimes the jump is quite stark, right? Not everything needs an app. I remember at growth school, we were reviewing the submission of first batch. One of the people had submitted this shower curtain thing. The rest of the washroom used to get wet because it's a small washroom in, I think in small, in Bombay or somewhere. So they did a hackish shower curtain, which can work in a city like that. And that was the idea and they presented it. That's for a product designer and for any designer, actually, that's a valid approach for design thinking. Let's go to the actual designs thing first. Now, here's the thing, right? This to me f gives a feel of more of a dating app because of the photos of the people, but because what is the information provided to me, right? I can see the name. I can kind of see the industry, which is the most important thing, and probably the company, which is probably the most important thing. Here you can see at LinkedIn design patterns, right? It will always highlight the company almost as much as the name. That's why the title almost appear appears together. So I would dedicate less visual space to the photograph of the, uh, of the user, which is not as important important here as in a professional context where they work, maybe the logo of the company or what industry they work at or what kind of experience do they have or how many people they have mentored so far or how many connections they have so far or those kind of important signals. Information architecture and visual design is deeply tied. I think more than bio, there is so much scope here because in what context the you have done research around that, uh, etc. I think what one of the things that I'm missing here is what kind of mentors, if they had mentors in the past, uh, what kind of mentors they liked and what did they did not like on or how did they choose or pick a mentor based on what? So if you had asked that question here at the research stage, that could have helped you prioritize what to display here. For example, in EdTech, I want to know somebody who has worked at a certain scale, who might have faced certain level of issues or might have cracked certain industry or certain segment in the industry, maybe international, maybe a certain country that or certain market that I am not in or I'm not an expert in so I can reach out and they can be a help to me. So that would be far more helpful. I'm selecting date and time for what is not clear. Am I booking a call with them and I'm booking a chat with them what is gonna happen here it just says select date and time but I have no clue it doesn't say what the call is about then I add okay then I'm doing a booking okay but is my booking paid or something the idea is like that of the ADPLISC so you could have studied some of the patterns you could have figured out if you had studied some of the similar apps in your secondary research ADP list is about designers you were trying to build ADP list for entrepreneurs I hope that feedback helps Uday Kiran thank you so much for sending in your work and congratulations on completing it next is Ankit what's a park better those of you who don't know parking issue is common and it's I think it's one of the most commonly shared and attempted you know people who are starting out common thing for people to attempt so these are the competitors that obviously exist a ton of them frustration in existing apps there's a ton of research there but would like to see a summary of this later hopefully how much time on average that is that is a weird way to present the data a pie chart could have helped much better here this is a interesting line for further questioning why is this if something is so skewed if it's so clear like that there's usually something to it for a designer and especially from research point of view this should trigger an alarm what's happening here how can how come no one looks online it's not like people have not tried you can see the competitors if they exist usually research should tell you there's something wrong here but of course for case study purposes we continue your problem statement was validated search for locality you can choose from previous locations and you can set up your location balance recharge etc so i get it's prepaid and then you can use this to navigate to a particular spot i guess i wonder how well this will work 
with technology hmm this is an interesting thing that you're proposing an offline thing for this one i'm not sure if uh, tech work i'm not sure user can easily scan the qr no wait who will scan this qr the person will scan this qr i'm not sure how this qr works because usually the phone opens the camera and scans the qr somewhere else right so i'm not sure how this works i'm not sure if shop is required i would rather see parking spot photos can my car fit there is it for big cars how many spots are available how likely how what is the traffic like <clears throat> i mean when you're doing this research you know one step deeper to go on and understand is what sort of concerns are there right say could have been a little more refined if we were looking at the ui i think uh, the typographic scale needs a lot of work uh, because this thing is too small then it's the labels are big again the spacing increases then the spacing decreases so it's a little bit of like a mix of desktop ish fit into mobile like you can see that in set up your location this comes with left line this most of this ui looks left line then we go and you can see how you know a church street appears with like an icon here right and here it appears with a photo then we are 4.5 kilometers away and then if, if if i go here that 4.5 kilometers away comes without any icon and 20 minutes is exactly not clear like is it 20 minutes away or should you say 4.5 slash 20 20 minutes away so copywriting can use a lot of work as well <clears throat> i hope this feedback helps there was some usability testing done all right seven users asked to walk through able to complete the task then okay gorilla, gorilla testing was done so i'm not sure how this was conductive if your outcome was like nobody had an issue so i'm not sure how did you come to this conclusion so you may, may, may want to clarify that i wouldn't make this claim honestly especially without the tech behind the scenes that was a good case study ankit uh, ankit what's that thank you for sharing your work i hope the feedback that we shared helped and given that you've just started out with design that was a really remarkable attempt for a person who have just started out in design to be able to achieve this level of finesse in and next a portfolio that we are looking at is shonak who is a product designer from pune and we are going to look at one of the case studies that he has submitted designing a mobile app for donating and recycling old goods efficiently which goods are we talking about uh, what type of waste are we talking about clothing bags and footwear okay so this is what we are we are working with clothing items basically fast fashion being an issue if you were gonna focus on fast fashion here right so might as well title the case study like that right it just says old goods efficiently might say old clothes or designing a mobile app to counter the impact of fast fashion primary research was done with 10 people a one on one to one calls and in-person interactions multiple blogs and articles for secondary research these are the questions that were asked that's an odd question to ask would they would people even remember because most of such things are there because you've forgotten about them so that that question needs a little bit of thought why would you assume that they would know the answer to this question because if they knew there's an item that they no longer use and they keep around like it most likely wouldn't be around they, they are one or two items you are aware that they shouldn't be around but are there are because you are emotionally attached but most items are into oblivion because you just forget about them i'm not sure how these questions are found because these are repetitive questions what do you do with these things that you are no longer use what option do you consider before deciding to do what because they're, they're the same question so i'm not sure if these questions are well formed you may want to look at that shona key insights from primary research everyone owned more clothes and footwear than needed validated the assumption but you said which are the things you own so did they answer that okay i was assuming they answered but that is not coming out clear from this 80 percent of them would only notice they have extra things when they clean there you go okay there you go this is what i'm talking about summarizing on the research people are unaware where they can convenient yeah that's a good summary of research that People don't know what to do if they know it's not convenient or they don't know how often they can do that or when they should do that. Mm, prototype, let's take a look at prototype. Create a box. Oh, nice. Okay, I can put everything in a box and somebody will come and pick it up and then I get rewards. Okay, your waste, your redirected away from the landfills is two kgs. But okay, it just always says yellow. I'm not sure yellow is the right way to present that celebration. Celebrate that. It almost looks like a warning. Create a box. Okay can add some clothes how i'll just i'll just say number of items like plus minus footwear bag the one is stained they're torn which items are items that are wet items that are fungus items that are okay next steps delivery type oh they you will deliver me the box okay 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 what you're asking me for delivery type but then you're saying pick up 
Pickup is opposite of delivery. So this is very confusing copy. Then you're asking a pickup address again. So I'm not sure what is happening here. I'm not sure how to use this UI. Yeah, I don't know what's happening there. When are you planning to go? Not decided. I'm not sure if this is this has is a CTA. This should come before, right? Like this is how you donate. And then you give me the option that this is where you can donate. Got it. Okay. So they were, I hope you saw where it was slightly confusing. Then there are some resources, rewards, etc. If we look at UI wise, there are some visual things that you can take a look at where typography scale, I think could be a little bit worked at, you know, these things are too small. These things are too massive comparatively. Type target wise, this is very big. This is like not from the same universe. And of course you definitely want to work on copywriting for a lot of these aspects. And also I'm questioning when I'm inside the flow, do you really need the static bar? Instead, shouldn't I have these as static buttons here instead of the tab bar, this static bar? Because at this point, what's the point of me navigating away? Because you already have a back button, right? So when I click on this, this bottom bar should go away in my opinion to make this more focused view. So I hope all of this feedback helps and overall case study can also use a little bit of work on this points we spoke about that will help it clarify because you have the work to show for you, but it just needs a little bit of clarification. And then I'm pretty sure this case study was, will come out brilliant. If you're having fun and if you're learning something new, if you're enjoying this, make sure you hit that like button. The next portfolio that we have in front of us is by Sagnik. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's butcher the name properly, okay? By Sangik. <laughs> Finally, the case study has made it here. Congratulations. Book my show, improving the ticket booking process, a UX design assignment. Book my show is an event booking app where you can book tickets, etc. Problem statement is going to the cinema or an event is a fun experience, but booking the tickets in the application feels like a navigation is really long and trying process. How might we, do? okay, so it's your assumption, it's your, your personal experience for you that it, it's been, it's dull or it's long or it's tiring. So let's see what you've done for that to solve that. So I did, I do ask my friends so book, to try the book my show and I would note down my observations. Found the movie of the choice for our, most of them found it. I wanted to select across different categories, but failed to do so. Interesting. That's very weird use case. Like they were like, hum char log, uh, hum char log idhar platinum mein bethenge. Tereko silver mein bhej rahe hain. Okay, one person. Like very, very interesting use case. Five skipped grab a bite. Or I'm not surprised about that one. This will be very interesting, useful information for book my show people. Uh, pain points are terms and conditions appear in the middle of the booking page doesn't really add much value to the user. I think the reason they do this is legal reasons. Honestly, no other reasons would be there. Because you are like, yeah, but you never showed me. They can be like, sir, you agreed to terms and conditions. Are they asking you to enter from scratch, which will be bad. Quick checkout, all right. Currently is this and you want to take it to this. Oh no, this then currently is this from, uh, then you go to the screen and then we will skip that, skip that. So the solution is that you will do that. Add food or directly check out. I think a video here might have helped. I'm not sure how this works. Resume booking or I think you can turn this continue booking. There's an interesting reason they don't do this because if you select certain seats, right? When you're booking, they reserve those seats while you're booking because that's the only way they can guarantee that somebody else doesn't book those seats. Imagine you're booking seat number three and four and three other people together book three and four. So now there's a fight because three people got those tickets. So while you're booking number three and four, when you tap on that, book my show is most likely trying to reserve those seats for a while till you do the booking session. That's why at times you will see a countdown timer as well or session expired or something. So that is why for them, it is difficult to build something like continue booking option but a noble idea nevertheless. What I like about your case study is that it was it was opinionated and your opinions about that were clear and the sources of them were very clear. It's to the point like you solved the five problems you discovered in, in, the, in the research and you stuck to those. So that's actually better Sagnik than 90% of the case studies out there because they'll start, they'll go like, oh, I'll solve this, but, but then this, but then customer said this, but then I'll solve this, but the app does that, but the UI does that. So uh, you did not do that. It all was on singular line. You were focused. That is awesome. I think overall this case study works, but now I would definitely encourage you to try something more in, in depth and something more challenging where you don't just redesign a feature, but try to design an end to end app. And Gerald has, do you think if the outcome to the problem is not an app or tangible product that will then Will our insights be enough? As a researcher, it is enough, especially if you're presenting a researcher's ability to drive into things. And then I would be looking for deeper insights as well to what level are you able to investigate. But even if you have to switch to app, I want you as a designer to acknowledge that I'm aware that I'm 
forcing these parts and I'm, uh, you know, these are weak reasons to build an app and these are strong reasons to build an app and these parts might not be solvable properly by app. As a designer, the, when I know that you have that awareness and you're just not going through the cycle, okay, step one, put the, uh, put a problem statement, step two, write a research thing, step two, step three, build an app. If this thought occurs in your mind, write that. When I read that as a, as a reviewer, as a hiring manager, as a person reviewing your portfolios, it shows me that there's a person, a smart person behind the scenes who understands what they are doing as a designer and not just following a simple step. How many portfolios have you reviewed in total? In total, I have say just on the stream, I think I have reviewed over 100 portfolios easily because we have had 22 episodes on average. We cover about six ish portfolios. So, so I think it's way over in my Google Sheets it's about 149. We are on 149th rows. So even if there's some repeats, it's safe to assume that 100 ish portfolios were reviewed so far and in my life for hiring i think i would have reviewed easily 10 times more like some or somewhere in that range just tons and tons of uh, reviews once again thank you so much for joining in tonight good night shabak hair shabratri love you marry me etc i'll see you in the funny papers see you later bye don't forget to hit that like button if you're new here just subscribe bye 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 okay fine bye bye go oh my god why are you still here bye <laughs>